Hey guys, welcome back to another Dalek video. Today, we're finally going to be diving in to the fourth Doctor's era with his first Dalek story and probably one of the most iconic Doctor Who serials of all time, Genesis of the Daleks, the 10th Dalek serial in Doctor Who. So, as usual, I'll talk a bit about the actual Dalek props that were used during the filming, and then I'll talk a bit about the Dalek figures that are in front of me here. So, this adventure was first broadcast between the 8th of March and the 12th of April in 1975. So, quite a while ago now. But it had been about a year since the Daleks had last appeared in Death to the Daleks, which we took a look at in the last Dalek video, guys, if you didn't see that. But, uh, yeah, so that meant that most of the Dalek props they were still around in storage. The three hero props that were built by Shawcraft, Dalek 1-7, Dalek 6-5, and Dalek 7-2, which are represented by these three beauties right here. And we can tell that because they've got the little oval on the midsections there, and the other four don't. So yes, the three main hero props represented by these three here. And we have four out of the five remaining goon props. Goon prop one, goon prop two, goon prop four, and a mixture of goon prop five and six. These four don't have an oval on the midsection, so that's how you can tell which ones are the goons and which ones aren't. We only have five of the goon props remaining. After two of them, goon prop three and goon prop seven, they were destroyed during death to the Daleks. They were used as stun props, so they were blown up and destroyed during the making of death to the Daleks, which left five of them in storage. And yeah, it was decided that they only needed four of the goons for Genesis of the Daleks. Hence why we have four here. So, before filming commenced with the Genesis of the Daleks, there was some basic maintenance carried out to all of the Dalek props. Fairly minimal, really, nothing, nothing major. But all of them were painted with a heavy coat of gunmetal grey, which is why we've got this much darker grey instead of the nice silver and black that we got with Death to the Daleks, which I've got to say, personally, I did prefer the colour of Death to the Daleks, but for this story of Genesis, I think this colour sort of suits them pretty well, sort of very militaristic style. They look a bit like tanks in this colour. So yeah, for Genesis of the Daleks, of course, we have seven Daleks, seven Dalek Jones. And this story also introduced us to Davros, the creator of the Daleks. And if you hadn't guessed already, this is him here, sitting in his lovely chair, we'll call it a chair, his life support machine, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, Genesis of the Daleks was written by Terry Nation, and he is actually the creator of the Daleks. He is the person who wrote the very first Dalek story and came up with the idea. And, you know, he wrote this story as well. So he created Davros, so it's quite fitting that the actual creator of the Daleks created the creator of the Daleks. <laughs> but, um, yeah, basically, I think when Terry Nation was envisioning the design of the Dalek creator, Davros, you know, he wanted something that reminiscent of an actual Dalek itself, hence why we have the single Dalek, well, single electronic eye that sort of lit up blue on its head there, that was similar to the Dalek's eye stalk, of course. We also have his arm, which is, you know, he's, well, he's, he's got one arm, the other arm's sort of there, but it's not. So, you know, he's got his arm there. Also, he has a chair that's very similar to that of the Daleks, if you hadn't noticed already. But um, yeah, he's got all these nice control panels and levers, little switches and things on there, which look pretty cool, pretty cool. But Michael Wisher, who had previously voiced 
the Daleks in some of the previous Dalek stories. He was actually cast as Davros himself. So Michael Wisher sitting in his chair, wearing a very good prosthetic mask of Davros and wearing the outfit, sitting in the chair, looking pretty good, pretty good. But yeah, there we go. That is Davros. All these toys here are from History of the Dalek set 11 and creation of the Dalek set. Now these sets were released in B&M stores in 2022 and you can still find them on eBay. I would definitely recommend both sets. They are fantastic. So we'll take a look at the actual figures themselves now. Just like all my other Daleks with these ones, I've given them the extendable plungers. So we've basically added some aluminium tubing to the ball joint here and you can see the actual sucker arm that was there it just slides up and down the tube so yeah just some small piece of aluminium tubing that i've cut down to the size of the plunger put it in the ball joint and put the actual plunger in so you can then slide it up and down and have it like that so for this story i like to have most of them closed in because that's what they sort of look like during the story but some of them obviously do have it like that so yeah i do kind of uh kind of like that most of the time for this story i have them pushed in like that but um yeah it's pretty cool pretty cool and with this one that actually comes packaged with davros this has a new part fitted on the inside that comes as standard where it actually makes it very easy to remove the arm and the gun. So the ball joints come out very easily and that's thanks to this little bit here that um, sits behind this section and sort of like sucks them in, but not all the way. So it allows them to sit a bit further out I think than usual but um it looks very good because in the story it does actually look like it's sitting out a bit further and this is great for recreating the scene of when the demonstration is going on and the Dalek is fitted with its gun for the first time so yeah even though <laughs> even though this was a different kind of plunger I still managed to make this one extendable as well which is pretty good even though i don't actually take the arm out that really just sits in there pretty much but this is kind of removable and that's what we see you know in the story in well in that scene anyway a few scenes where we see one without a gun so that's pretty cool obviously i've got the gun in there and also it came with um this little end attachment here that fits in to the gun. So it's not exactly what we see on screen. It's very similar, but it's just kind of a nice Easter egg, really. And this fits in to the end of the gun that obviously sits in here. I do actually have uh, two of them because I bought an extra set because I needed an extra Davros. So I had a spare gun and I thought, well, we'll give that one to Davros so we can hold it. I think it looks quite good. And then also we don't have to have one missing from an actual Dalek. <laughs> but yeah, you know, overall, really like these Daleks. Um, pretty happy with them. I'd say character options have done very good job on both of these Dalek sets. Um, I think with one of them um, from the history of the Dalek set 11, one of the actual Daleks you got in the set had the wrong dome lights uh which i switched out because I, I don't know why i have them dome lights they're from destiny of the daleks so i don't actually have any of them dome lights in here on all of these daleks including the you know the goons and the standard you know drone daleks which were the you know meant to be the original shorecraft props with the oval they both have the standard ribbed dome lights so that's you know that's what we want and you know the goon props they have the black ball joints which is very cool and i think 
it's nice to see they've actually colored the ball joints because sometimes they just leave them unpainted or gray or whatever but you can see with the actual props here we've got the silver and the black for this one and we've got the sort of bronze style one for this which is accurate so that's good and silver there so it's really nice to see them paying you know that extra attention to detail when it comes to these because you know honestly if they didn't do it i'd probably do it myself like i've done before <laughs> but um yeah i'm really pleased with how these are and the overall collection for genesis of the daleks so there we have it really you know if you want to find out more about the actual dalek props and things then you can visit the Dalek 6388 website because that's where I get all my info from. And yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you in the next Dalek video. Bye for now.